Good day guys, it's Jara here, and as some of you may or may not know, I am a huge Disney fan, as I say. You can see here I'm wearing an aerial pendant and my favorite movie is The Nightmare Before Christmas. So I thought, why don't I do the ultimate Disney quiz? How much do you know about the world of Disney? Find out by taking this quiz. So this is by Beano.com. Are you ready? Then let's begin. What was Mickey Mouse originally called? Oh, it was one of these. I want to say Michael? I don't know, it wasn't. What was Bambi's rabbit's power? I don't I think I've seen Bambi once in my entire life, so... Thumper, yeah. Who was Snow White's enemy? You mean this woman over here? Okay, so it's not Crelladeville, it's not Scar. Maleficent and the Evil Queen are very much hand in hand, it just depends, but in this one it was the Evil Queen. What was the name of the man who created Pinocchio? So that's Geppetto over here. Who was... The boy is friends with the dragon, what's his name? Pete and the... Pete, Pete, Pete! Who sang the song Under the Sea in the film The Little Mermaid? I think I know it. It was Sebastian. Sebastian for the win. How many wishes did the genie grant Aladdin? He granted three, didn't he? Yeah. What is the name of Simba's dad in the Lion King? Mufasa. R.I.P. Mufasa. Where was the film Pogo Hunter set? This I do not know. Um, it was in Canada. Uh, let me say this one. I guess, and I'm sorry. Before joining Woody and the gang in the Toy Story, where was Buzz Lightyear stationed? Oh, he was... Where was he actually? It was... I think it was that one, yeah. I just remember Sector 4 for some reason. How many Toy Story films are there in total? When was this made? Because it's Toy Story 1, 2, 3, and 4 are currently. Um... It depends on when this quiz was made. When was the quiz made? It does not say. There are four Toy Story. But I'm going to guess three, yeah, because the fourth one didn't come out. Oh, RIP as well. Who invented Flubber in the film of the same name? I have no idea what they're talking about. It wouldn't be Ab I say, it wouldn't be Nemo. Philip Brandon? That was a guess. Total random question. How many times a day do you brush your teeth? What? <laughs> Uh, once a day. Because I don't watch it twice a day. What's the name of the accent pro and in a bud's laugh? What is your name? Is it John? No, it's fake. I don't know why I thought John. Eh, the more you know. <laughs> what was the sequel to the 1996 version of 101 Dalmatians called? It's just 102. They went that creative, clearly. In Monsters Inc., what do Mike and Sully connect in order to power the city? <coughs> Children screams. I love my Disney. What's the name of the gigantic Australian shark and fan in Nemo? It's Bruce. It's the most Aussie name there, Bruce. Which is not really that Aussie. In the Incredibles, where do the Parr family live? Is that their last name? Parr. Actually, where do they live? That's a good question. I never think about it. Um, let me say Los Angeles. Oh no, it's Munchenberg. Of course it is. Because I've never heard of that. In the Impersonal Groove, the animal does Cusco turn into? He turns into a llama. A llama. What color car is McQueen in cars? Really? You're just going to put a giant photo of him and be like, what color is this? What was the first Star Wars film made by Disney? Now, this is a good question. I think it was Rogue One. Oh, it was The Force Awakens. I wasn't sure. It was 16 out of 20. Not too bad. The next one we're going to go to is which Disney princess are you? So, I'm going to go right off the back. I think that I am Belle. Just because I love to read. I have the brown hair, although currently it's orange, but I'm originally a brown head. Um, I don't take people's times. I like to just call open the book, relax, and have fun. But we'll see. Favorite weekend activity? Curl up with a book. Do I need to say anything else? Pardon me. The animal who will lead my inevitable royal parade is a raccoon, fish, tiger, dragon, chameleon, alligator, owl, horse. Dragon? But if I had to pick, it'd be polar bear. Just so you know. The most important quality I look for in a prince is charm, kindness, dreaminess. Okay, so it would never be dreaminess. Based off of what's on here, I'm gonna say. Would never be charm, dreaminess, 
or smolder. It would be kindness, humor, personality, honor, that's a 50-50. But I think out of all of those, definitely kindness. You just you gotta be nice. I like a nice boy. I like a nice girl. I like a nice anything. <laughs> Which of these outfit elements are you most likely to wear? Sweats, or as we call them, track pants, a dress, heels, glass slippers. That sounds painful. Headband, a necklace. I wear two every day. A skirt or a vest. Uh, trackies. Please, if I don't count my necklaces. My favorite place to burst into song is in my room. Camera light. A forest, a field of flowers, while doing chores. Actually, I do do that as well. The beach, under a willow tree, on the go. I don't sing. In my room for sure. My favorite hairstyle is. A stylish bob, a high ponytail, long, really long, bangs, practical, a top knot, half up, half down, sleek and straight. I said practical. As long as it's not my way, I don't care. Someday I want to be a baker, a singer, a business owner, a writer, a fashion designer, an athlete, a CEO, or a zoologist. Out of all of those, I've thought about being a fashion designer once in my entire life. Um, a writer, possibly. I'm kind of writing a book right now, but it's not a book, it's a poetry book, so wouldn't count that. Um, but I would have to say a business owner, I think would be cool. In one word, my style is realistic and comfortable. <laughs> I don't care about anything else other than comfortable. Is it fun, bohemian, classic, vintage, timeless, retro, functional, or colourful? It's functional. I'm a functional gal. If it's not functional, then it's not functional. If it's not functional, then I don't wear it. I live in a castle, apartment, tower, cottage, small town, tree house, mansion, big city. I live in the suburbs and I live in a two story house. So I don't live in a cottage or a tower or a tree house or a mansion and I don't live in a big city. So I guess it's a small town, but though it's technically not a small town, it's a city, but it's not a big city. I don't live in an apartment, but if I had to pick, I would say cottage. It's 4pm, that means it's time to sleep. <laughs> Let's take a nap. <laughs> that was a joke. Hit the gym, see what my friends are up to, take a stroll, have a snack, have tea, have a nap, do my chores, and work on my chess game. Again, this depends on the week. Um, if it's during the week, I might be at work. If I'm not at work, I'm cleaning. If I'm not cleaning, I'm with a friend or my boyfriend or my brother and if I'm not with them then I'm relaxing watching YouTube and if that's not happening I'm with Trico taking her out for walks so it's just all dependent on what's happening in the day but I'm gonna say do my chores favorite color blue you got Mulan oh interesting I did not think that family is very important to you that is true but so is being true to your heart also true luckily we have a feeling being yourself is exactly what your family wants you to do all you need is a dragon and a cricket and you'll be unstoppable I actually kind of like that. That's kind of cool. But I want to see now which two Disney princesses are a combination of me. Which of these is your ideal throne? A relaxing sofa, a beanbag chair, encrusted with diamonds or made with gold. A reclining sofa. Comfy, man. Which of these comments would fly you the most? Your laugh is contagious. Your style is on point every day. You have a beautiful voice. What a charming smile. I've gotten your... You have a beautiful boy. I've gotten you have a beautiful voice before. Your laugh is contagious. I think more a charming smile. I don't know. If you had to wear one outfit for the rest of your life, what color would it be? If I had to wear one outfit for the rest of my life, what color would it be? Probably on a realistic level, it wouldn't be white because that would get so dirty so quick. It's so probably blue or black. Where do you spontaneously burst into song? At work, in the classroom, a secluded area, no one here, anywhere, anytime. The beach, the library, without the shower. I mainly do it in the shower or in my room, but I can do it anywhere, anytime. So I'm going to say the shower. What would be your ideal psychic do? Give your life advice, possess magical powers, be an enthusiastic dance buddy, or serve your enemies sass. Mm -mm -mm. That's all of my friends. They just serve anyone I don't like sass. So life advice, I think, would be good. Because I give a lot of life advice to people, and I think it'd be nice every once in a while for someone to give me life advice. Not that I don't get it already, but I don't know. I just think it'd be cool. Choose a pair of shoes. 
Kitten Heels, Trendy Sneakers, Mary Jeans, and Fair Go Barefoot. I'm Fair Barefoot out of all of those. What's your favourite time of day? The afternoon is my favourite. How do you treat yourself on a day off? Watch Disney movies? Yes. While cut out to my bed, plan a brunch with friends, go to the spa. If I have a day off to myself, I'm curled up in bed watching YouTube, which is usually a Disney movie, or something else. So curled up in bed. You're at the salon, which I've been to once in my entire life, as you can see here. Which hairstyle do you ask for? A cute bob, fluffy bangs, a bold colour. Which Disney park treat would you get right now? Um, well I haven't been in ages so I don't know what a dollop whip is. A Mickey ice cream bar I do remember, Cheerios I remember, and a Mickey caramel apple I haven't had. So probably the ice cream bar, especially right now, because it's so hot right now. Apparently I'm, a, I'm Milan and Aurora, so they got Milan right? You might have a dragon guardian of or fairy godmothers, but you have enough positivity, high spirits, and bravery to take control of your own destiny. But also like Milan and Aurora, you enjoy your beauty sleep very much. I approve that. Last but not least, which Disney princess movie is basically basically is your life story? We'll say probably gonna say Milan. We describe the town you grew up in as rustic, sophisticated, friendly, or traditional. It was friendly. I still live in it now. Everyone's very lovely and very kind, actually. Your closest childhood friend was is still my classmate. Um. My two of my best friends who I still known from primary school, one from reception, one from year two, we're still friends to this day. Fourteen and eleven years later. Rock on. You like to pass the time by reading, for sure. Which of these sound like the biggest challenge? Performing for an audience, cooking, a meal for ten, going on a first date, or running a marathon? Running a marathon because your girl is not fit. Which I do want to change. Would you describe yourself as an introvert, an extrovert, an extroverted introvert? Or an introverted extrovert. Um, I would say I'm an adrovert, which is a mixture of both. But I am very much an introvert. But I can be extroverted when I'm with friends. I'm gonna go with an extroverted introvert. How many siblings do you have? I technically have zero siblings. Non-blood siblings, I have three. So for this, I'm gonna say none. Sorry, my brother and sisters. And then all, obviously all my non-blood ones are you guys as well, but for close friend ones. If you village were to sing a song about you, it would be called A Unique Individual, The Dreamer, Independent of the Max, Going Places. Probably be, she's out of her room, what a shock, she's going somewhere, God only knows. A unique individual, I would hope. What is the biggest life lesson you've learned so far? Family is everything, don't judge a book by its cover. Actions speak louder than words. Everyone can do great things. The biggest life, life lesson I've learned is society will tell you one thing, but you just have to not believe it because they are not always right. So I'm going to do with actions speak louder than words. Oh, the princess and the frog is basically your life story. Interesting. For as long as you can remember, you have been a go-getter like Princess Tiana. Dreams that have once started off as wishes have st become reality through your hard work and persistence and preservation. So despite some of the, despite some of the sometime unbelievable Kerbal's life has thrown away, I guess that is true. I wouldn't say a hundred percent, but eh, you can't get these things right a hundred percent all of the time. So with that, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, let me know in the comments below and tell me if I should do like maybe a Marvel version or a DC version or I don't know, fandom version of some description. I have fun sitting and doing stuff like this when I'm not in the mood to do gaming pretty much because gaming can be hard sometimes, especially when you're not at your highest point. So yeah. Anyway. See you guys in the next video. Whoop, sarcasm out. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. See ya. I don't know if I've been doing that handshake lately. I think I keep forgetting. Sorry.